Data Integration with Uncertainty. This paper describes techniques to enable data integration systems to handle uncertainty. Many data management applications such as managing enterprise data, scientific data, personal data, and integrating data on the web need to manage a number of heterogeneous data sources. Traditional data integration systems are based on building schema mappings between the source schemas and the metadata schema. As a simple example, a schema mapping can specify that the publication table in the metadata schema can be obtained by joining the three tables in the source. The user composes a query according to the metadata schema. The system reformulates the query according to the schema mappings and answers the reformulated queries on the source data. However, Many data integration applications need to deal with uncertainty at three levels. First, the source data may be extracted from unstructured data using information extraction techniques and so can be imprecise. Second, the schema mappings may be approximate. This can be because in some applications such as offering access to information on the deep web, there are millions of data sources so building and maintaining precise mappings are infeasible. This can also be because in some domains such as by all informatics, it is not clear what the mappings should be. Third, the vast majority of users prefer to post keyword queries, but we have uncertainty on the semantics of the keywords. To handle such applications gracefully, we argue that data integration systems need to handle uncertainty. The system should handle uncertain data, mappings, and queries. In particular, the system should attach probabilities to data in the sources and to mappings between the schemas. Keyword queries and their possible translations into structured queries can also be interpreted in such a probabilistic framework. In addition, instead of focusing on finding all the answers, the goal of such a system should be to find the top k answers. As a first step towards realizing such a system, we introduce probabilistic schema mappings and study their semantics and query answering in their presence. We now illustrate the main idea using an example. Consider a data source and a metadata schema that both describe persons. A semi-automatic schema mapping tool may generate three possible mappings. As an example of uncertainty, M1 maps current address to mailing address, M2 maps permanent address to mailing address, while M3 maps email address to mailing address. They have probability 0 0.5, 0 0.4, and 0.1 respectively. We will discuss the precise semantics of multiple mappings in a moment. Suppose the system receives a query queue asking for people's mailing addresses. According to different possible mappings, the query can be reformulated into three different queries on the sources. The system answers each reformulated query on the data source, assigning the probability of the answers according to the probability of the mappings, and then sums up the probabilities for each distinct answer tuple. Suppose the user requires only the top one answer, after executing Q1 and Q2, the system can already conclude that Sunnyville is the top one answer and can skip Q3. This paper formally defines probabilistic mappings and studies their semantics. We show that there were at least two possible semantics for probabilistic mappings. The first semantics, shown in our example and called by table semantics, assumes there is a single possible mapping that is correct, but we don't know which one it is. The probability of a mapping indicates its likelihood and we should apply a mapping to all source tuples. The second semantics, called by tuple semantics, assumes there is no single mapping that can apply to all source tuples. A different mapping can apply to each tuple according to the probability given to the mapping. For example, some people use their current address as mailing address and some people use their permanent address as mailing address. For both semantics, we studied query answering with respect to probabilistic mappings in terms of the size of the data and the size of the mapping. Whereas by tuple query answering generally is hard, we identify several practical cases where query answering is in p-time in the size of the data. In addition, in practice, uncertainty on schema mappings can be represented concisely. We studied three concise representations of probabilistic mappings, including group mappings and base nets. 
We studied query answering with respect to such representations. Finally, we discussed several more expressive extensions of probabilistic mappings, such as glove mappings and complex mappings. We are currently implementing such a system and applying it to a large collection of web data. Thanks for your attention.